Hey there, Matt. James O'Keefe, Project Veritas. How you doing? How you doing? You're on tape, and you're talking about January 6th. And I would like your comment for the story. We're launching this night. It doesn't look good. It's about January 6th. Uh, quote, it was like me and two other colleagues who were there on January 6th outside, and we were just having fun. But I know I'm supposed to be traumatized, but like all these colleagues who are in the Capitol building were like, oh my God, it was so scary. I'm like... Off. What do you want? It's just, I'd like your comment. I'm, 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 I'm a jur you're not gonna, you've already commented, you're already on tape. We're going to hit job. We're going to do you, you justice, and if you think I'm giving you a hit job, I'd like you to tell me why. Who are you texting right now? I'm trying to text people. But you knew that you were being spoken to. And, and yet, do I, and will I stand by those comments? Absolutely. You will stand by the comments. I mean, I don't know what comments. You're coming with the comments. I, I'll show you. It's not a big deal as they're making it. They were making it too big a deal. They're making it this organized thing that it wasn't. Uh, there's a tug of war. This is a quote from you. Quote, tug of war at the New York Times between reasonable people and some of the crazy leftist shit, unquote. So would you be willing to sit down with me and speak on the record about this? No way. Why not? You know, come on. There's no way you're willing to speak to me. You got me in a bar in a social situation. Like, I'll overhear a conversation. And like, look, if you're talking in public, it's fair game. Okay. Is it what you said, true or false? Sure, you got me in a bar in a social situation. Right. Um, this is me talking shit in a bar. You think that's news? It is what it is. Well, you guys, I mean, this is what you guys do, right? Like, I'll overhear a conversation. And like, look, if you're talking in public, it's fair game. Okay. Say you also talked about the P tape, the Trump T P tape. Yes, you talked about your sources in the CIA, and you said that you get around the polygraph situation by going through intermediaries. You need the sources from within to dig into those guys. It's especially over the CIA. I would say it's like if you work there, you get polygraphed every year, and you're asked if you spoke to a reporter. Your answer is anything but no. You're in deep trouble. So you're often talking to former people that talking to people who are still there. I think that's interesting as a journalist. You're talking about your sources at the end. I was talking about my sources. Oh, well, you, 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 you actually were. I didn't name anyone. Right, but you did talk about sources as a journalist. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Yeah, it's been a pleasure meeting you, too. I think, I think we yeah. know that there's no comment here. Yeah, well, you, you've already given us many comments. You've not spoken to you many times. Well, you've spoken to my colleague many times. What's interesting to me about journalism, it's very much a pleasure for me, I can tell you that. What's interesting to me is you talk about the NSA, National Security Agency, and the CIA that were involved in the P-tape. And you said the P-tape, of course, doesn't exist. It was completely ridiculous. It was written about the CIA and NSA, and about Trump, and about that ridiculous like P-tape, which of course doesn't exist. What do you think your guys at the NSA are going to think about this video of you talking about them like that? I have, sir, there's a swift no comment. Right? There's just a no comment. Right, but when the... Oh, God. I'm when, not going to talk to you guys. And I wish you'd get the cameras out of my face, too, please. Thank well, this is this is in America. We have a First Amendment in this country. Well, what do you think the, your your people in the uh, agencies are going to think about uh, these recordings? If you talking about the CIA polygraph stuff, sir, I've, you think it's I've gonna... told you there's no comment here. Do you think that the people in the agencies are manipulating the journalist rather than the other way around? Like they sort of they puppet you. They get, they feed you the stuff, whether it's true or not. It's a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure to meet you too. Way. I'm going to go with you. Why not have your actions in public match your actions in private? I think I've made it pretty clear we're not going to talk about this. Well, you already have spoken about it privately, and I have recordings of you. That's the thing about journalism, right? You you use anonymous sources. You say people are familiar with the matter. Most of your sources don't speak publicly. So why is it okay for you to do what you do, but not okay for me to do what I do? Yeah, I'm going to duck in here. It's been a pleasure meeting you. Oh, you, you're gonna, why are you ducking in? Where are you going to the pharmacy? Are you, are you hiding in a pharmacy? No, I'm just running an errand. Why not, just, why not just engage us in conversation? New York Times reporter Matthew Rosenberg ducking in to a pharmacy. Uh, unable to engage in defamation, the New York Times journalist is simply rendered mute. They use anonymous sources, they say people are familiar with the matter, and of course that's not what we do. We show the lips moving, we show the videotape.